O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Where true love is dwelling, God is dwelling there. Love's own loving present, love does ever share. Love of Christ has made us out of many one. In our midst is dwelling God's eternal Son. Give him joyful welcome, love him and revere. Cherish one another with our love sincere. It was you who saved us, Lord. We will praise your name without ceasing. We heard with our own is O God. Our fathers have told us a story of the things you did in their days. You yourself in days long ago to plant the root of the nations to let them spread your late people's love. No sword of their own won the land. No arm of their own brought them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, for you love them. It is you, my King, my God, who granted victories to Jacob. Through you we beat down our foes. In your name we trampled our aggressors. For it was not in my bow that I trusted, nor yet was I saved by my sword. It was you who saved us from our foes. It was you who put our foes to shame. All day long our boast was in God, and we praise your name without ceasing. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. It was you who saved us, Lord. We will praise your name without ceasing. Spare us, Lord. Do not let your people be put to shame. Yet now you have rejected us, disgraced us. You no longer go forth with our armies. You make us retreat from the foe. And our enemies plunder as it will. You will make us like sheep for the slaughter, and scatter us among the nations. You sell your own people for nothing, and make no profit by the sale. You make us a taunt of our neighbours. The laughing stock of all who are near. Among the nations you make us a byword, among the peoples a thing of derision. All day long my disgrace is before me, my face is covered with shame. At the voice of the taunt of the scoffer, 
at the side of the foe and avenger. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Spare us, Lord. Do not be, let your people be put to shame. Arise, Lord. Redeem us because of your love. This we fell as though we had not forgotten you, though we had not been false to your covenant, though we had not withdrawn our hearts, though our feet are not strayed from your path, yet you have crushed us in a place of sorrows and covered us with the shadow of death. Had we forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out hands to another God, would not God have found this sound? He who knows the secrets of the heart, it is for you we face death all day long, and are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, O Lord, why do you sleep? Arise, do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face from us and forget our oppression and misery? We are brought down low to the dust. Our bodies lie prostrate on the earth. Stand up and come to our help. Redeem us because of your love. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Arise, Lord, redeem us because of your love. The Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we know the true God. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Oh, that you would tear the heavens open and come down, at your presence the mountains would melt, as fire sets brushwood alight, as fire causes water to boil, to make known your name to your enemies, and make the nations tremble at your presence, working unexpected miracles, such as no one has ever heard of before. No ear has heard, no eye has seen, any God but you act like this for those who trust him. You guide those who act with integrity and keep your ways in mind. You were angry when we were sinners. We had long been rebels against you. We were all like men unclean, all that integrity of ours like filthy clothing. We have all withered like leaves and our sins blew us away like the wind. No one invoked your name, or roused himself to catch hold of you. For you hid your face from us, and gave us up to the power of our sins. And yet, Lord, you are our Father. We the clay, you the potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not let your anger go too far, Lord or go on thinking of our sins forever. See, see, we are all your people. Your holy cities are a wilderness, Zion a wilderness, Jerusalem a desolation, our holy and glorious temple in which our fathers prayed to you is burnt to the ground. All that gave us pleasure lies in ruins. 
Lord, can you go on unmoved by all of this, oppressing us beyond measure by your silence? Jerusalem, your salvation is near. Why are you so sorrow-stricken? Are your counsellors lost, that you should be disfigured by grief? Do not be afraid, I will save you and set you free. I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. Do not be afraid, I will save you and set you free. A reading from the commentary of St. Cyril of Alexandria on St. John's Gospel. When the maker of the universe designed in a beautiful arrangement to gather up all things in Christ and to restore again the nature of man to its pristine state, he promised along with the other gifts to give it also the Holy Spirit abundantly, because in no other way could it be reinstated in a peaceful and stable possession of good things. He defines therefore the time when the Spirit will descend on us, that is the coming of Christ, and promises saying, in those days, that is of the Saviour, I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. When the time of this munificence brought the only begotten upon earth with flesh, that is made man of a woman, according to the Holy Scripture, the God and Father began to give the Spirit again, and Christ received the Spirit first, as first fruits of the renewed nature. John bore witness to this saying, I saw the Spirit descend from heaven, and it remained on him. Christ is said to have received the Spirit, because he became man, and it was fitting for man to receive. Although he is the Son of God and Son of the God and Father, and begotten of his substance even before the incarnation, or rather before all ages, he does not take it amiss to hear the God and Father address him after he became man. You are my son, today I have begotten you. For he says that he has today begotten him, who before all ages was God begotten of him, so that in him he may receive us into sonship. For the whole human nature is found in Christ, because he is man. Since the Father has his own spirit, he is said to give it, give it again to the Son, so that in him we may gain the Spirit. For this reason, therefore, taking the seed of Abraham, as it is written, he was made like to his brethren in every respect. The only begotten, therefore, receives the Holy Spirit, not for himself. For the Spirit is his, and is given in him and through him, as we said before. But because he was made man, he had the whole nature in himself, that he might renew it all and restore its integrity. Besides what has been said, we must consider this too. For we shall see, if we use right reasoning and the testimonies of Scripture, that Christ did not receive the Spirit for himself, but rather for us in himself. For all good things flow through him, also into us. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Then the nations will know that I, the Lord, sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary is in the midst of them forevermore. I will establish a new covenant with the house of Israel, and with, the, and with the house of Judah. Then the nations will know that I, the Lord, sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary is in the midst of them forevermore. Let us pray. Through your Son, Lord God, you shed your eternal light on all mankind. Give us grace to acknowledge the full splendour of our Redeemer, so that going from glory to glory, 
We may come at length to your everlasting light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God.